to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Melia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and, of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is going to go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom. Surprise locker room visit. Ah. How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? I think we can win because you're not as good as you think you are. You're cocky. Well, aren't you some bold little so-and-sos? Watching you burn... It's going to be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? You wishing me good luck? Come on, Em, that sounds pretty suspicious. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot earlier. I'm sorry. I was just mad about my old teammate you eliminated. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders, and I thought, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me, or you can take a slab to the face. Mm -hmm. You got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me, and I'm going to kick their butts. wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and i'm glad that m like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah i knew that you were cool from the moment we met competitors on your mark get set go
Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators?
that's enough for you? Thanks for saving me. Yeah, I don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. And the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse responded yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You tried to kill me! I... I had to. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no! Please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. Guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jess. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Keep up! Come on! Come here, it'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Like this one. Hey, Slab, do you even like this job? You know, it's got its benefits. I get to beat up people, and most people are scared of me. Which is cool. It's not bad, but the old builders aren't so great. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> well, sounds to me like you're just easily impressed. Oh, yeah? Well, sounds to me like you don't have proper appreciation for quality architecture, doofus. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by... Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now well, that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, 
an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. The decor of this place really seems like you're going for a modern villain aesthetic. Does it? I suppose taste can be intimidating to the classless. You can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had maybe a go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Hadrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright. You know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though, seriously, dude, big fan. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. 
You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? If you're this scared of me, I must have a better shot of winning than you're letting on. Or maybe I'm just tired of a little pipsqueak interfering with my games. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab! Be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, Squishy. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Adrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. And he'll have the redstone heart. Yeah, but at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. <laughs> he loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? <laughs> that is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. together we can all win together but jesse you're not on my team see my jumpsuit is yellow that's just what the old builders want you to think hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules i say it's our time to change the rules on them what's the point hadrian will still have all the power there's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him he'll just make up some new rule it's useless don't you want to go home em I do, more than anything, but nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. That's right, Tim did beat the games, and so can we! <laughs> yeah, sure, except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. So what, you're just going to quit because it's hard? No. I'm just saying that we don't exactly stand a chance against those stupid gladiators. 
The stories didn't exactly say what Tim did to beat them. Sure. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? That's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never... Oh, I get it now. And with my help, we're gonna do this even better than Tim did. We're gonna do it as a team. You need to believe in yourselves and believe that you can be like Tim. If you do that, nothing can stop you. Yeah! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <laughs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> familiar with the walls you want to walk us through how it's played sure thing hadrian teams start out separated in their own sections divided by the high inner walls each team has a short amount of time to gather materials build defenses and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down wait i only see dirt and gravel in my section oh i'm sorry is that gonna be a problem the sections are drawn at random Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! That's right. So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking. Too dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Adrian, I can't help but notice... Hey, <laughs> seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh, would you go away already? Oh, Gee, sorry. sorry. I, I just thought you wouldn't want to be alone. Oh. You know, when you die. Man, I hope this is one of those dirt blocks or something underneath it. Just dirt. Come on! Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! 
least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come out. believe it in myself for once and take a chance it appears emily has em, to all right in my book well the feeling's mutual but don't let it go to your head or i'll knock it off its shoulders noted this isn't how it was supposed to go what's going on i have no idea come on over here yeah why aren't you all killing each other Tja, man i can totally see why you'd be confused yeah we're uh Confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears. That Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept and is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. Guess what? Deals off. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the game. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. Hey, two slab. You'll pay for that. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together. Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. No! no! Mavia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. We had a deal. And you broke it, bucko. We had an agreement. You promised me. You should be ashamed of yourselves manipulating all these people like this. How dare you? This isn't up to you. We control the games. 
we decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. Come on, Mevia. Just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We, we still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! What are you doing? Now, it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Because, uh, I will trap you here forever. If you want it, come and get it. Your wish is my command, buckaroo. This is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. No, oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> No! Slab! It was an honor to fight with them. Slab! Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no wet. See about that! I got this, Hadrian! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! Was this supposed to be a game? You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game is no! And that's our game, sports fans. The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I, I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, cuz I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Bad. Sweet. Payback ah, time! Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! I'm gonna make you beg me for a deal. Seems unlikely. We don't beg sport. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you.
No one gets out of obscurity. Harper, I'm gonna owe you one. Time to go to work. No, no, it can't be! You meant me a give up! Wow, her inventory was huge. Mavia, come on! What kind of rookie move is that? Still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Jesse, let's talk about this. Hmm, is that begging? Does that sound like begging to you, Petra? It sure does, Jesse. Told you. Shut up. Just shut up. Alia, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on. Jesse, remember Splee. Got it. going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Correction, Otto. We all showed you the error of your wit. Uh, yes, I suppose you're right. You all showed us. And you all deserve to go home. Ah! No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. And I'm gonna help, too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? 
I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Sounds like Otto's going to be, you know, like restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea. We can actually make them fun. M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. A deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice. There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. portals we're home yes it does feel pretty good doesn't it i know i can't believe it either after all that traveling we were doing i was starting to wonder if we'd ever get home <sighs> it is good to be back i'm just so glad we're all back together that atlas is so cool i'm glad otto let you keep it fabulous yes and that's not all we got seriously what else did you get yeah show him jesse The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ah, I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. 
tell the next one anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as like a portal atlas or a redstone heart. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. That's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us. If he wants to dive right back into the portal network, well, I think he's earned it by this point. So you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Come on, guys. Let's go home.